welcome welcome to my channel my name is Veronica Castillo and you're listening to the chocolate chef and more welcome welcome and today is Wednesday and it's gonna be um my um whips that means is my um uh whips in progress and every Wednesday I'm gonna be to show what is gonna be the progress about my whips if if I completely some or you know how you know how much I've been working on and those um and my whips so I'm gonna say thank you so much and welcome and I'm just going to say you know um get your favorite drink get your whips and just enjoy the to see it well and my um i had a shell right here and i put the whips in the in the, um one of these containers that i got from um dollar tree and um i put it in there and this is how the look completely <music> So yes, so all my whips is in those blocks right there, and I'm trying to put it in bags and separate with in the same um in the same um uh, block, you know, and so let's start it and you know if you like to share with me, you know send me your pictures about your whips what you're working on, uh how you organize your whips. Or how you put it, you put it in bags and in basket and or something like I did in those, you know, um th this uh this uh little cues right here, I got it in Dollar Tree. So um even in the plastic plastic container, whatever you like to share with me, just send me a picture and I will in my next um in my next uh a video I will share with you I will share your pictures the way you organize or what you're working on and you know i mean sometimes people they have only one whip they have something they have more than one i have more than one but now what i'm going to trying to do for this whole month and also for the each week pro out working and my whips so um is some whips is are really already kind of like old i mean old in the way that i'm supposed to be get it done long time ago but my goal is see how much I can I can work in and get it done for my projects, right? So, you know, and it's, and it's going to be every Wednesday. There's going to be videos that I can show you my whips and some is um, some people's pattern. Or um, I just <laughs> start creating my own designs. And then some there's a tutorial and some of this not. And some just like I crochet and I get it done. And sometimes I just, I'm not got the time to record a tutorial, you know, but I'm working on, I have a lot of to do this, what I want to work in and this whips, get it done. And so I can start working in tutorials. I am not write patterns because I just, I can't and I cannot, you know, I really, I can't. The only thing I can do is just, um, um, tutorials so let's start it let me start with the first one uh first let me show what i'm start doing and let's remember that i was participating collaborating and did a hundred days project so um i got my 100 granny squares right here in this basket i got this basket i pay a dollar 99 cent 99 cents and um and one in my local area right here that's selling the stuff for like really cheap. It's for other people, you know. And I like support that store because they help and support kids that they don't have home, and um, and different and different around the world. And and why did I like? They had some um, pictures about all the school or um, they support um, 
these is more you know small towns the kids they don't maybe they don't have food or they don't have like um uh gonna say like this hard for them I I, I I go to the school or something like that so they help so every time they sell something they money they send them and they support you know so i like to support but i'm probably next time i will record a video uh doing a video one thing i can i can i probably i'm gonna i just going to record in a video but i don't want to type because some they had the loud music so always always i go in there and i don't want to ask them then hey you know i'm not gonna do this just, you're gonna see how the is it's it's just store the people they donating and stuff and and they say and they selling for you know for who like to purchase the stuff so and i just I like this basket and i said you know what let me use in this for my um for my squares and yeah so here's my squares and this is what i start i start using a um this one this will be a uh, cardigan like a like a jacket or sweater or something like that but you know and i'm gonna see if i can put a fabric like um in inside when i get it done and i will show you but if it's not just gonna for uh, for at the moment you're gonna see my progress when i put it together the squares and stuff like that and when i get it done i uh, will probably do a tutorial you know for for this but of course it's gonna be for there's gonna be something else different with the uh, yarn uh the yarn that i use for connecting my squares is sugar wheel and the color is line line it and this is the color and this is size number three and half 142 grams 335 yards and this one it was on sale and um um hobby lobby and so yeah so i just i like it and yeah so i got this one and i'll start connecting my squares so this is so far i've been connecting let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i'm going to connect in 10 only at the moment and there's gonna be another one there's gonna be another 10 and that is the way i start connecting my squares and yes i go you're gonna see maybe like um working with me and some in other videos probably i don't know i'm just going to see you know so um oops and yes yeah, so this is um the way i'm in connecting the what i'm doing because remember i did 20 in yellow 20 in blue 20 in this green and 20 in this kind of blue and 20 in purple so i've been doing one like example one yellow one blue one green one blue one purple and i go back again one green one um blue yellow and um this is soft blue and and the last one purple so some like that so i try to put like a using all the colors you know and so this is how so far i'm working in this this is one of my wigs that i'm working sometimes i'm not really gonna say focus on that at the moment i just do a little bit by a little bit because connecting the square is so really easy and so quick and the other things and and i'll start work this one i'm working last week um i started doing i think um uh, oh my goodness what day it was i think saturday night when i started doing the um connected saturday or sunday i don't remember it was last week i think it was the day before um um when i completed my 100 i think it was friday i think or saturday i don't remember everyone the other things that i been uh working is this one's right here let me get this okay the yarn that i use for this one is this one is gonna be in like a um, cardigan, another cardigan, or um, cocoon. It's not cocoon. It's it's just cardigan. And this one is the yarn that I use. And let me tell you, I know this yarn is. 
one thing about this yarn just is 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 a you if you wear a black clothes it's sticking in you <laughs> this yarn because i would have this one right here in my lap right here and i was just like what is this and it's all the peelings right here from this yarn it's really soft super amazing but i had this problem with this yarn um I hopefully when i wash it and clean this um uh wearable i hopefully it do much better but i don't know so this is the yarn that is that i use it and i know a lot of y'all have this yarn and you had the same problem please you leave a comment um this is a uh, gold gold twins that is in this one is um 100 grams 180 yards and it's 46 percent acet acetin cut 46 cotton viscose six percent and two percent polyester i mean it it is not feel heavy and nothing like that but it's size number four but when it's a lot of peel like with this yarn so yeah so that's the only thing and let me show you um i have one right here that i'm using but uh the way i started doing i um, don't like it i already connected and but i think i did too small this part right here and let me put it on okay so this is how the look well how the yarn the floor and this is what i hopefully i can see it yeah and so i know one thing i have to do is put some more working more around in here and i really like it because it's it's really you know so really a lot of room and the yarn is really soft so yeah so um the stitch i get it from uh one of those books that i have and i'm gonna be put this on the sleeves just a little bit more kind of just but right here you know, or maybe not maybe a couple uh maybe like a singles and yeah so so what do you think I love the stitch, you know, I love the stitch, but I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is how the look. And so making a little more large, I added like in the part right here, in the bottom right here. But um, what do you think? And um, so in this one, I did one, and, but I did an acrylic, but I did different than I'm doing in this way. So let me show you. Work on this side, and I'm finished into the other side. I love the stitch. It's super easy. It's uh, the diamond stitch, and so super easy to crochet this stitch, and yeah. And so now what I'm doing right here is doing um, a double and making this design on both sides, you know, what this size or in this side, either way, whatever you like to use. Um, so I have only two more left of this. So I'm gonna use um, for working around right here, most that I can and uh do a couple more rounds about this list just maybe like a maybe one or two uh maybe two or three rounds about the single crochet or a half double so yeah so i have enough yarn for this so this is another whip that i hopefully i can get it done by this week or maybe you know before next wednesday or you're gonna see the progress so so far that i'm doing is i'm in the run number two about working around right here that i'm doing a half double 
the size of hooks that I use is size number five. And yeah, size number five, it is a clover one that I'm using. And so yeah, I had a note right here because you know, I use in the size number five. The other one that I start get it done, I'm, I'm not get it done. I'm probably gonna get it done. Uh, hopefully next week I'm get it done with two whips. I uh, hopefully. <laughs> and I got this one and one of my beautiful and amazing bag that I love it. One of my amazing people sent me this amazing gift. Oh my gosh. I love it. Um, right here and in this bag, I have my stitch markers in here. Um, I have and this one is a cocoon. Um, but this one is turned so big, like really, really big. And I love it. I hopefully when I get it done. And the yarn, let me show you just real quick the yarn that I use. Well, first I use a um five millimeters hooks so you know because i use an m5 in that one and this one is a five too so i have to put a, a note um for my um the hooks that i use so i love it because they got a little cute bag right here i love it that's a llama <laughs> the yarn that i use in this cocoon now this is my um uh, design the, of course, I will be working at tutorials when I hopefully soon as possible get it done so I can work it on. Because first I want to work in and finish and I can make it another one. So because this one, you can make it mini time, mini that you want. You're going to be feel, uh, this one I'm going to wear because it's acrylic. It's 100% acrylic. And this one is 100% love peely acrylic i love this yarn it's super soft i love it and the yarn that i use for the cocoon the part the body of the cocoon is um that is the color and let me see the color let me see it's the color melissa knee it's melissa knee 964 that is the color hopefully you can see it and this one is on sale in a Hobby Lobby. This one they recommended six millimeters crochet hook. And again, let me tell you something. The one that I use for doing this stitch, except that I use in six, I use 6.5. Um, it was a bigger size of hook. So you're gonna see the stitch is so big and loose. But the five I've been using and this one right here, you're gonna see why I'm using this one. This one is a tobacco color. Yes, this is a tobacco color. That's the same. There's a low pellet, um, pellet fiber. So soft and silk, super soft. So now let me, so far with the, um, let me show you. Okay. I wanna make sure that's the same. Okay, this is tobacco. This is Melissa, Melissa Nee, Melissa Nee, Melissa Nee, and Melissa Nee. Because it's big and also, I mean, it's, 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 it's like, I'm gonna say, it's really big. Like, I like, I'm making this way because I want to let really like, cocoon like really nice cocoon when you outside you put your fleece shirt and go outside when it's cold and it just feel like in a cocoon you know so i use so i use for that i said one two three four five and i had two more left in here three more left in here oh here's my hooks okay see i told you because i finished the with, the, with this yarn Okay, so first for my change, I did, let me see, eight millimeters. And for the stitch, I use nine millimeters. These two hooks, that's for the, for the part that using this one right here. But the one that I use for working around this, for making a, you know, and your area stand right here. Um, the border, I'm going to say the border right here. I use five millimeters. That's what I'll start working last week with this one. 
so i said you know what let me focus in my old project um this is the this is the only label that i've been using for the color tobacco and you're gonna see it so let me let me put it on and okay so you can see this is big okay i made it in this way so i'm working and the part around the this and i'm still working on so i'm still gonna do more rounds in here and what that i'm doing right now is i did let me see i did this part right here singles and in uh, uh decrease and after that i've been doing um i have um, a double crochet and now I'm going to be working only in double crochet or around many times, whatever. I don't know how, how many rounds I'm going to do. So the soon I get it like in the way I want. So this is how the look. And let me turn. You can see it. And yes, it's long. And I mean, it's, it's really big, but I like it. And... Of course, I'm going to close this part right here a little bit. And I'm going to do like a single crochet or a half double. And I love the yarn, everyone. What do you think? I love it. You see this really, really flew and I just like it. And yes. So, um, of course, I'm not going to wear this now because, you know, this is so far the yarn I'm going to use. Um... The color tobacco and you can see that is i'm still had to do you see how long i mean yeah i love it now let me tell you the way that i use the um d doing the stitch with the bigger size of hook that's the way they look like this you know they're not too thick it just highlight like, really nice look at this i love it i can't wait to get it done and of course, I'm going to show you how you can do it, how many chains and everything. And if you want to make this with me one day, you know. So what do you think about the my <laughs> cocoon, cocoon, cocoon. <laughs> oh, my cocoon. And I have my stitch markers in here and everything, you know. Um, but they're just only this one right here. The stitch super simple. And it's... Um, uh, is uh working in trouble and uh some and darn and double you know and um it's a double or triple i had to you know check in my you know the notes in my book and um but it's a triple so if i not run if i run i will tell you um but also um yes so let me show you real quick that is um that i'll start working uh around the, my next is part right here so i hopefully i can get it on this one by next week yes so um here's my other whip that i need to get it done with this one with my cocoon 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 <laughs> okay so my next project my next my next whip okay is get it done um, I started working this one with Sis Genie, but I forgot to check in more. And, um, I know now she had a tutorial for this. This is not my pattern. And, uh, and this pattern is, you can find this pattern in, um, Hobby Lobby. But when Sis Genie was to work it in that, it was, the pattern, it was not, uh, right it right. So what she did is she was working on in that pattern and find, I had yarn in my mouth. Um, see, I had yarn in my mouth. Um, sorry, everyone. So I, um, she, she, she start working in this and we working together and she finished one first before she held me, uh, because I want to do it. But we had another things to do, and sometimes we don't have the time to get it, you know, 
um, talking and like um, get it together again. So she did a tutorial, thank goodness. And she had a tutorial. I will put the link for this tutorial for the pattern she did. And um, she's a really good teacher. So go check her out. Um, I'm going to put the link for that tutorial if you like to um, to make in this uh, shawl. And this is how the shawl <music> So mine does not look like that, right? But um, <laughs> when I get it done. So the yarn that I that she recommended me to use, and because I love I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby, and I use this this color, and the color is um, soft blue, I think. Dardenis, Dardenis is this one's right here, or this another one. That's the same. Now this is the gray bear. This is the gray bear, the one that I use. And okay, Dardanese is this one right here, but this one, that's the one color. And I got this blue and this is navy blue. And I know this is soft baby, uh, baby blue. So, and I use um, 6.5 millimeters uh, Susan Bay hook. That's what I'm using. Yeah, good that I put my hook in there and let me show you so far I get it so far and now I will be working in this one because um this one is gonna be for my, one of my friends um I'm gonna give it this gift to her so she can have something because she always wears something like that she wear like um those kind of things put it in the top on her and because something is you know, for her, it's, it's cold and and um, stuff like that. So, let me show you how to look my <laughs> project. But this is not my pattern. Okay, so like I said, just go and check her out, Genius. She had a tutorial. If you like to make in this, that's amazing. So, this is how the look so far mine and the progress, I don't have so far, get it done, and I love it. Look at the blues, you know, how the blues pop in the other colors, and I love it. I mean, let me put it like this. Okay, there we go. There we go. You see the colors? I mean, this is so really nice. And you know, I, I love, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. So, yeah. So when I get it done, I will just give you a, 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 for her, for my friend. And yeah, she's going to love it. And I like it because it's not small. Because I'm not that, I'm, I honestly, I'm not that kind of person making shawls. But this is big. And I like it. And I want some, when I give you something, somebody wants she's wearing and enjoying, you know, not a bitty, bitty, tiny triangle. <laughs> of course, some people, they put it like for like a scarf and stuff like that, like this. I'm not that person either, but I know she's, she's that kind of person that she like kind of stuff like this. And her, my friend, my um, friend, her mom, she was doing crochet and she has some blankets and stuff like that. She's not doing crochet, but her mom, she was doing. And so this is another one that I'm going to start working. And hopefully, I hopefully I can work in this soon. I'm going to try and work and see. I have one, two, three, kind of get it done. And, and my squares, the squares, I'm going to do it when I can, you know. Um... You're going to see maybe uh, connecting another ones or maybe making another line with the connecting the squares already. So, yeah. So, this is gone in here in this basket um, and this one's too. So, this all two is together. Um, and also, um, let me see. For this month, 
I'm going to be working in a mosaic blanket. Um, it's not my pattern, and this is by Tina. Um, uh, she created this, this a beautiful and amazing blanket. This is how my blanket look um, so far. Um, it's going to be a little bit more. I think this is all video. I have to record another video. But this is one um, kind of like last, last, last time that I was working on this blanket. Now, the now I have to do is only pa finish pattern six and pattern number seven and the border. So this is the blanket and the link for that person, the tutorial is going to be in my description box below the, this video. So check her out. I know she's amazing. She's a great teacher. Um, there's another ones people, they do beautiful um, mosaic designs. Oh my goodness. I love mosaic. This are amazing. So my goal to work with this blanket for this month, but you're going to see the progress each week. Then I'll go be a lot of progress, but you're going to see, I'm going to put like a stitch markers in the blanket and you're going to see how many I did. If I finished the completely the pattern number six or, um, or I it's one or the anything, but you're going to see. So let me put the picture about the video, how the look in my bed is a keen size, uh, size the blanket. So this big, and I will show you the yarn. Like the pattern number six but this is the blanket that had the look and that i'm gonna be working in this one um for this month and every week maybe i'm gonna do one three four row, rows rows and get it done now for each pattern i repeat four times okay so okay so this is a huge blanket so you can see the repetition one two three four right here the first the pattern number one and the next this four and the next four repetition but you can see the colors change different colors and the next one four and the last one i do let me see one, two, three, four, and yeah. So I am the pattern number six right here that I did one, two. So I need to do two more repetitions, the pattern number six. I hopefully, I can at least get it done only one repetition about this pad, this um, uh, blanket. And um, yeah, so get it, I mean, not get it done, but at least, um, get it done with one um, but you can see there's a big there's a big blanket so yeah and of course we don't have to worry about the ends because I'm going to put a border the border is for the pattern okay. so here is the yarn that I use this one um, this is from uh, Lion Brown Yarn and this her land I love it super soft and this is um well of course i'm not going to show the um the pattern you know but this is some of the other colors that i'm going to use here's one it's another color it's another color i try to get the other colors here with me but i had a basket that i had organized more like in case i need some more like in this color i just go and grab it and put it in here in this basket I got to use in this green and this kind of blue and also in gold, different kind of this kind of brown. And I have this brown right here too. And yeah, that is pretty much. So what did I do? Here's, here's, here is the hook that I used. 
this is five millimeters hooks this is the hooks that i'm using for um this blanket so yeah and i like it because this yarn is feel like not full it's feel kind of like size three it's not really thick my last last i'm gonna say my last whip that i'm gonna be working on this ones too is this one's right here I ain't even been touching the, the so far. I haven't been the, this one. It was, I think, two weeks ago. And I'm going to <laughs> make it like a turtle. Yes. And uh, this is uh, this is only that I, I've been I've been doing this with this one. I really uh, not even been touching this the last time. And here's the tails right here. And the tails. Where they put them to the legs i think and this is for the for the uh <laughs> put it in the butt the turtle <laughs> right here so um the yarn that i use is adorable ball the uh, baby b um but yes so this is so far i just did the head and this one is a tutorial uh because i'm not really good in amigo roomies and but i'm going to try to do add it something working with chunky yarn that is not taking so much time recorded time for me so the now yarn. is this is another whips that i'm going working on different colors so on the scrubby face and here's another one if you want to know what i'm going to do with this scrubby face i inviting you to check it out my uh stream live and mondays and that is when i going to explain a little bit more about this and so yeah so i had a so this is it for me everyone i hopefully you like this video this will be every wednesdays and show you my whips my progress my whips and progress and this could be it and this could be a video end of the month this could be how many whips I completely you know that I get it done for this month and see how much I can get it done in this month too but every 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 week you're going to see my progress if I if I if I completely some or I still working on or what right so but yes send me a pictures about how you organize your whips if you want to you know if you like to me share your pictures about how you organize your whips or how many whips did you have just leave it in a comment you know you can carry only one whip two whips three or more put it like in a comment did. how many whips i show you today <laughs> so many right uh but like i tell you some they're not gonna be completely done and the, especially like especially the blanket that's one i'm gonna be working and working and when i get it done i get it done but thank you so much everyone thank you for watching this video don't forget thumbs up leave your comment if you're not part of the mal amazing people well hit the notification bell twice so that way you are gonna be part of the mal amazing family thank you so much and see you and the next for the next wednesday for my um whips on wednesday my whips and progress everyone and see you in the next video bye